Azrat Mirza Masro Ahmed is the present head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, the most dynamic international community within Islam. The community was established by Hazrat Mirza Khulam Ahmed in Kardian, a small and remote village in India. He claimed to be the expected reformer of the latter days, the one awaited by all major world religions. Founded in 1889, the community has continued to spread throughout the world, flourishing under caliphate, the system of spiritual leadership established after the demise of the holy founder. The current successor of this movement, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, continues the work of the Holy Founder to revive the spiritual and moral state of mankind. The movement embodies the benevolent message of Islam and its pristine purity, a movement that preaches peace, universal brotherhood, and submission to the will of God. Ahmadi Muslims have earned the distinction and reputation of being a law-abiding and peaceful community. Within a century, the movement has reached all the corners of the earth, and has been recognized and praised by the global community. Kind introduction, Your Holiness, members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, and other friends. It is an honor to address you because as a campaigner for human rights and religious freedom, I deeply admire your principles of equality, freedom, and respect, and your commitment to tolerance and social peace. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to address you on behalf of Religious for Peace Europe. This symposium you organize annually since 15 years is one of the most important meetings in our continent. It's dedicated to reflection on risks and commitment related to the common good par excellence, the peace. I would thank you also that you have stressed uh, the importance of showing that Islam is a religion of peace not the religion of hate, uh, as it was stated on the wall in the Yalsa, love for all, hatred for none. I think that is the message that the world really needs. That promoting religious freedom is an essential building block for peace and stability here and throughout the world. In this we are allied with His Holiness, a courageous champion of religious freedom and of peace. Love for all, hatred for none, is the message that we see in this mosque and from the Amadea Association. Your people have been the leaders in taking the peace movement that one step further. The huge respect we have, we all have, for your work day by day in making a reality of peace and brotherhood across the communities in this country and across the world. Wherever the movement has been established, it endeavors to exert a constructive influence of Islam through social projects, educational institutes, health services, Islamic publications. I would like to pay an additional tribute to the work being done by Ahmadis in raising standards in Africa and particularly in education. Yes, Britain has welcomed the headquarters of the Amadis in this country, but it hasn't become something that's become, as it were, a closed sect in Britain. It's become a community that has sought to reach out to all of us. And that's very important, because the best way to break down the barriers of misunderstanding and prejudice is for that contact to happen, and I thank you for that. The Ahmadian community contribute hugely to interfaith forums, to the richness of our community, and that is the same that's reflected across our nation. But what I would like to pay tribute to you as well this evening is the contribution that you make to wider society and the important charitable causes that you support, not just for your own communities, but for the wider communities. And that is to be acclaimed and that is to be applauded. Your faith is dedicated to serving the society that you live in and from what I've seen, heard and, and, and experienced from mainstream charities, schools and churches, your faith and community have contributed in significant ways.
I have personally experienced and heard that you have raised tens of thousands of pounds uh, on sponsored walks for children, older people and people with disabilities. You have dedicated yourselves to charitable social projects and most significantly of all, you have not distinguished between faiths, ethnicities or communities. <laughs> The community's many social projects aimed at helping those in need bears testimony to humanitarian concerns in respect of all. Good morning, we're here in Mitcham Town Centre to launch the Ahmadi Muslim Community Poppy Appeal uh, in Merton. I understand that the community as a whole hoped to raise half a million pounds up th from 350,000 last year for the Royal British Legion in this poppy appeal. We are so delighted by your efforts and grateful for your fundraising. We know that that's only part of the one million pounds that you hope to raise this year alone for UK charities. Well done, we are very grateful. Thank you. In the past hundred years, you have given so much to the society in the United Kingdom and to societies everywhere globally. You are among those who give and who not only take. You give so much to so many societies that I have seen and felt and listened to and watched. Ahmadis are also renowned for working to serve the greater good through social, health and educational initiatives as well as mosque projects. Your own work, Your Holiness, particularly in West Africa, is well known. And we heard just now about your attempts to bring water and energy supplies to some of the poorest communities in West Africa. Together, we should fight common enemies such as illiteracy, disease, hunger, and poverty. The Admir Ahmadiyya mission has put structures in place towards the fight against these common enemies in order to enhance the dignity of man. The mission has been a vanguard and a partner in collaborating with government in the areas of education, health, agriculture, and human animation. The Amadea community, the mission in Sierra Leone, really they've made a pivotal contribution uh, to the education in our country. You just have to look around wherever you are. And I have to say, Your Holiness, that I was touched by the way in which your predecessor as spiritual leader instructed your community, the Amade community, to befriend and look after those suffering as a result of the Bosnian conflict, and I was very impressed by that. Everywhere that mankind suffers, your members have been active in bringing help and saving lives and limbs. For me, as a student of Islam for now almost 30 years, I am constantly amazed by the depth of service that is certainly represented by this community and tradition by the depth of tolerance and the constant searching for what it means to be human. To be of human means to be of service. And I think this is so dramatically represented by the message of this community. All of us, whatever our political persuasions, hugely admire the work of the Ahmadiyya community here in the United Kingdom as we do across the world. Let us make a resolution let us make this resolution to promote the message of peace and brotherhood, which is your message to mankind, that people of different religions should not quarrel and fight with each other, but should accept and tolerate and live together in that spirit of brotherhood and peace, which is the essence of your religion. Love for all. Hatred for none.